My name is Megan Funk and I am the new community health worker at the Salvation Army of La Crosse County. My main role during the pandemic is just to ensure that the community or the individuals in it have resources to things that they need, whether that be informal counseling, therapy, transportation to doctor's appointments, um, just a social support, or just being a bridge between the uh, health and service system and that individual. Salvation Army has had the Collaborative Health and Wellness Service here for five years. Um, we've had bits and pieces of the team that makes up the collaborative. We have a contracted psychiatrist, Dr. Trannell, the caring nurses. We have a relationship with Viterbo, so the Viterbo nursing students and the Viterbo Masters of Mental Health Counseling students. So they come in, do group and individual counseling, and then they do wellness checks um, and different health education in the gym a few nights a week. Then we expanded out and we brought in Mayo and Gunderson Medical Residents as well as St. Clair Health Mission. And so the idea is a very holistic approach to um, serving our clients. Um, my main goal is just to ensure that everyone who qualifies for health care and food share within the homeless population or just the community in general has access to that. So when somebody comes in, yes, they, they come in, they check in, they get an assigned a case manager, but then we also look at do you have Badger Care, do you have insurance, do you have food share? If you don't have insurance, we try to get you over to St. Clair, we get a wellness check. I will be working at St. Clair's on Tuesdays and Thursdays and my main goal there is just to take all phone calls or do telehealth to help people sign up for food share and health insurance um, and get access to other government related services as well. And so rehabilitating that relationship so that our clients are comfortable seeking health care, that is a huge part of what the community health worker will be doing. I think a lot of people are scared to reach out for help, so my main goal is to just be a bridge. Um, if someone would like to pursue health care um, or see a primary care physician, it would be my responsibility, I feel, to help them um, create that relationship with the physician as well as set up that appointment. One of our mottos is we go to the people. We meet people where they are at. And what we are realizing is that there is a gap between social services and healthcare. We don't speak the same language. Um, we don't view things the same often. And so since that was a barrier for a lot of our clients, we decided we were going to break that barrier down. And that was the best way that we thought when we got together and put our heads together that we could do that. I think our community is really fortunate to have a position like this and I think Salvation Army is really excited about it. I am too. I think that potentially we have the ability to move mountains and I'm really excited to see the, the changes that we're going to see in people's lives coming up. And I don't think that it'll be a very fast process but I think that our goal is to just um, slowly and continuously help those in need. It takes a village. Um, we're never going to be good at everything that we do or be able to encompass everything that we need to do so we need outside partners we we need different views and, and different expertise we need um, different opinions we need somebody that will challenge us we need all of the organizations to come together and we need to look at the community as a whole and figure out what the community needs and how each agency fits in we can't just focus on what the Salvation Army does and what we can do here it's how does the Salvation Army fit into the picture of the community, the, the betterment of the community and the general wellness of the most disenfranchised. I pursued this position because I feel like I really have a deep compassion for people's overall health and well-being. Uh, since working here as a shelter advocate, um, about a year and a half ago I've seen some serious changes in people and they've been very positive. So I just wish to continue that and I think that this role will help ensure that everyone has access to things they need and um, that they can get the care that they have intended to get. We couldn't have done it without the support of, of our partnering agencies.